All right, guys, we're going to the first update on Tropical Depression 94W, uh, which is currently active in the Western Pacific in the South China Sea near Hainan Island. As you can see on the satellite imagery, blowing up, uh, blowing up significant convection near that island. And you can see Vietnam also getting quite a bit of uh, that convection, so that probably means quite a lot of rain. Um, as you can see, um, it is looking decent right now, and it could develop in the next few days as it moves towards China. In fact, it is expected to develop in potentially into around a 50 mile per hour a storm before making them fall in to China um, and it could potentially reform on the other side um, maybe out into the, um, near, the, tai uh, the near the Taiwan area but we'll have to see how that happens um, as it comes along but we are likely to see a tropical storm out of this officially uh, as it moves towards China. Currently, the storm has maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour, which is 30 knots. A minimum central pressure of 997 millibars. It's currently virtually stationary right now. And this is based off of the latest indications. However, this is actually pretty conservative from us because um, there is a reason to believe it's much stronger. Uh, and we'll show you why in just a second. And take a look at all the other estimates here. We have the JMA at 35 miles per hour, the officials of the base in there. The JTWC at 25 miles per hour. The JTWC Dvorak at 30 miles per hour. The JMA's Dvorak at 30 miles per hour, SAB or NOAA's Dvorak at 30 miles per hour, the D-Print uh, multi-learning machine is at 35 miles per hour, um, boys um, near the storm are capturing 45 mile per hour winds, and our WCSC analysis is at tropical storm, mainly based on these boy data, we have um, we have broken uh, we have broken our usual um, things that we do, which is usually with satellite imagery, um, but we are using boy data as of this time, as it seems to be uh, showing the most reliable data, and the most reliable winds coming out of the storm which could be as high as 45 miles per hour right now likely suggesting that this is a tropical storm system um here is our latest update as of 2100 utc this is based on our preliminary analysis so this is subject to change and um, we'll see how this happens we have erin still active it's a remnant low now um it's still a tropical storm force remnant low the pressure 998 is currently located at 32 north 139 east and 94w we're listing as a ts with a pressure of 997 millibars um uh, and it's at, located at 17 North, 113 East. Um, so we'll see how this evolves. I doubt it's going to get above TS status. Um, however, we're likely seeing, we're going to see that pressure drop. I won't be surprised into the mid 990s, um, but we'll see how that evolves um, over time here. Now, here's the boy indications here. Um, and you can quite clearly see, and um, this is in knots. So 39 knots, you can see high nine island. Though, this is actually quite far to the east of the storm. However, it is associated with this storm system. Um, so we are seeing um, pretty strong winds. You can see another uh, boy they're getting 29 um, knots which is 35 miles per hour you could call that if you average those two out you could call that about 40 miles per hour um, but that one there 39 which is 45 miles per hour pretty significant reason to believe that this is a tropical storm system um, currently right now in terms of the strength of the winds it could weaken um, but that those are in one minute sustained winds those boys so um, we're likely going to be seeing a, a tropical storm or we are seeing a tropical storm right now based on the boy data um, take a look at the JMA forecast cone as you can see very weird cone um it's mainly because the jma's website doesn't have like a good cone to copy so i'm just using windy.com with uh the hurricane tracker labeled over it and you can see they're expected to reach around 45 miles per hour and a pressure of 996 millibars for a landfall near hong kong west of hong kong and they're moving inland um, weakening down to a pressure of 1002 milli uh hectopascals or millibars however you want to call it by saturday and it dissipates inland we'll see how that evolves um i won't be surprised if this uh is right um but we'll have to see how that happens um, when it starts to occur. Um, here's the Havze operational wind swath here. Um, you can see not higher than 50 knots expected along the first landfall in China. But you can see it does really develop it again east of Taiwan um, near Japan. Now, I wonder if it's extra tropical at this point. Some models have been pointing out that um, it wouldn't be fully tropical at this point. Um, it would uh, be starting to gain a front, um, which is a uh, pure indication of an extra tropical system. Um, I wonder if it's still tropical, but you can see it does actually get up to around 50 knot winds. Um, probably a higher range 50 knot, probably up to 60 knot 
knot winds looking at that um seeing how long the 50 knot um, wind swath is there um here's the rainfall you can see hainan island could be getting a lot up to 16 inches parts of taiwan if this forecast is to be believed here could be getting up to four inches um and mainly it's hainan island right now um which is getting the bulk of the rainfall um from this storm mainland china should be mainly spared they should be getting around two to three inches however maybe in isolated spots four to maybe five inches inland um, but hainan island right now is the main rainfall bulk area with about 16 inches possible um it looks like widely four inches falling in that area though so we're gonna have to watch out for some dangerous potential flash flooding um in those areas uh, due to very uh, high rain rates which are going to be uh, of course chucking down loads of rain in a short amount of time um which uh, can cause flash flooding in the area um here's the visible shortwave wave imagery and um, you can see the storm not looking actually that bad um especially for a system that has just reached tropical depression tropical storm whatever it is right now um intensity and um, you can see you kind of see that center of circulation underneath the convection the big convection block there um it's definitely organizing at a pace um and we're likely going to be seeing a tropical storm making landfall in parts of china um over the next few days um but we'll see how that materializes as it comes to it um it is still possible that this doesn't develop at all but it is a very low chance now um since it has organized so well in the south china sea um and we're likely going to be seeing a tropical storm out of this here's the zoomed out imagery here and um, you can quite clearly see though uh, the storm looking very good on that front um, as well. And like I said, those boys capturing winds potentially as high as 45 miles per hour. Um, we're going with tropical storm. However, uh, we are staying a bit conservative in terms of the wind speeds. Um, going with uh, 35 uh, miles per hour currently. However, latest indications um, show... Uh, that that wind speed's pretty solid right now. Um, it's definitely between around the 35 and 40 mile an hour range um, from my best guesses. Um, however, of course, we haven't really had ASCAP throughout the day. ASCAP's missed the storm. Um, we haven't had many ASCAP passes on it. So um, it would be good if we had ASCAP, but we don't really. So we're basically having to rely off of satellite derived estimates right now um, and our own analysis uh, to determine the storm intensity right now. Um, but you can see, looking okay. Um, we've got some nice, uh, convection blow up all around. You can see high Island getting drenched. Um, we're likely to see more rain falling there. Potentials up for 16 inches uh, falling in high Island. So we're going to have to see how that materializes as it comes uh, as that uh, continues to occur and all this rainfall continues to fall over that region. Anyway, thank you for watching this update on Tropical Depression 94W. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next update. Peace out.